hey, hey. This is uh, Drawing Lines. I'm Kun. I'm Carol. Okay, that's your introduction. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can say it different every time. Hey, man. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. So uh, for today, we're... Okay, can we show that picture? That's great. Uh, so today, what we're doing is like... Uh, <clears throat> We're going to take uh, animals. It's a subject that I hate, but I think I need to face it. But I'm going to make it a little easier for myself because we're, we're choosing animals and we're going to try to create a character based on an animal. Uh, for me, I am doing a goat. Or, I mean, Ibex. Yeah, you just scolded me on how that wasn't a goat. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I totally forgot. Ahead and told I was in the was flow. Goat. I was in the flow and right. goat comes out better than Ibex. <laughs> All right. Look at this guy. He's pretty uh, sexy. So I <clears throat> I'm probably going to make a sexy goat character. Sexy goat character? Yeah. Kilo, what are you doing? Uh, okay. I have this guy. <laughs> okay. There's a little leopard. <laughs> okay. There's another fun little picture of the it's, leopard. I, I really like that. They, they jump. So uh, they're, they're jumpy, I guess is the word. They're, they're like Tigger from uh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, my God. He's like Tigger. Yeah. I probably picked the cutest pictures of these guys. But look so, at that tail. So are you thinking like uh, you're going to do something cute? I don't know. I'm actually terrified. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I have to figure it out as I go. I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm terrified okay. right now. But as long as I move forward, I put a line on the page, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Let's make some characters. Like Carolina, coincidentally, like animals. So, I do like animals. So she's going to be really good at this. Me, I I'm not so animals. much. All right. So let's uh, start. Yeah, so I guess the way that, well, first, I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do this, but some things about this guy is are the eyes, obviously, mm -hmm. a character with eyes like that and a big tail. And I don't know, I like the playful pose. Yeah, but the thing is for me, spot. it's like, I don't know, like, Ibex is this 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 uh, at least this picture that I got for, of the Ibex is like he's really sexy, right? Oh. And I keep thinking of a sexy pose, but yeah, at the same time, it's like, do I do a girl or a guy? So I don't know. I think you should you know go with something easy since we're doing like we have an hour, you know. Oh okay, I'm gonna do a guy then. That's easier. Jeez. Yeah. He's more skilled than me. I'm gonna go for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's what we talked about before, right? For both of us, like you're, uh, you're, you have much easier time drawing girls, and I, I have a much I think easier time. Everybody is like drawing that, guys. but it's not. Yeah, I, I know there are some. There's a lot of male artists who have easier time drawing girls. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know. Maybe is that that might be a majority. I think majority of people tend to like girls to draw them, but uh, it's good that you are different because hmm. I should draw more guys. I should do what's challenging. I mean, do you think that's true? I wonder. I, I don't know. I, I feel as though girls are tend to have more relaxed poses, and that's easier for me to draw than, like, men that have, like, kind of stiffer poses. But, you know, like, you could draw... A, I don't know. Every time I tried to draw a guy, like, when I was, I guess, maybe, like, four or five years ago, people would be like, oh, he's so... He's more like a more feminine guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always thought it, yeah, but it wasn't exactly what I was aiming for. I always thought I was normal, and that you know, normal, that, or at least in my way of thinking, normal. it's like you know, uh, male artists tend to draw males better, and then female artists tend to draw females better. I always assumed that to be uh, the case all the time, but I've I've been like seeing so many like male artists who just draw girls, and that's it. Mm. All right. Uh, I think guy artists. Or they can draw really good intensity, you know? Mm -hmm. And girl artists sometimes, this isn't the case for everybody, obviously, but can draw, uh, like, a more softer or more relaxed, more sometimes sensual type of poses than guys. Like, I remember, like, someone saw Karan's art, and they were like, oh, that's, you know, that's a guy. That must be Karan's art. Because his art was just, like, a lot more action-oriented. Right. I don't know when I went wrong and just didn't do action stuff. <laughs> wait, 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 why <laughs> is... I really like action stuff. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I like, I love like girls, right? But yet, 
I can't draw them. So I do like action stuff, but yeah, you have a hard time like. I guess or, I'm not or at least, prioritizing it. Yeah. You when didn't I'm drawing, draw so I'm drawing the like drawing the easy way out and when I kind of want to do more action thing. That's why I've, I've pushed the dynamic stuff a lot more. Oh yeah, I noticed that. That's really awesome. Well, I guess the past two years I've done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've been trying to draw more girls. So so we're both like, you know, trying to achieve what we've always wanted to achieve. I guess. That's the way to say it. Maybe, yeah. I still don't do... I'm not great at the action, action like poses yet. I don't know. I think you're pretty good. Well, no, hold on a second. For guys, I think you might still have an issue. But for I girls... Guys will, yeah. For girls, though, I feel like you're, you're pretty great at doing action poses for girls. Yeah, I, I got to practice more dudes. Maybe there's, we should do a stream on that, where, like, you're forced to do draw a girl, and I'm forced to draw a guy. And we need to talk about our problems doing these things. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. We need to get it all out. Like, uh, just do what, we're, what we uh, always wanted to do? Uh, yeah, like, I guess so. <laughs> it's going to be a horrible form. Okay, for me, it's... Oh, my God, what happened to my... Yeah, yeah for me, it's... Uh... <laughs> What I always want to do uh, with girls when I draw them, it's like I, I always want to do this natural pose, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like a flowy natural pose, I can never do it. They always have to be like action oriented. It's almost mm -hmm. like uh, these girls are doing male poses instead of female poses. I remember in the past, like when we used to work together, mm -hmm. I was doing everybody that I drew was very like, action-y pose and one of our friends um she drew like really casual poses and i was right. like really envious of that and ever since then i've kind of attempted to only draw like uh softer casual kind of poses to try to capture capture that but now i just can't go the other way like it's harder for me to or maybe it's just because i'm not like i wasn't that good of an artist back then so um i don't like like how I would do it now because I just haven't leveled that up at all. Like it's still the same. What the casual <laughs> now pose? Now I view it as even worse. Yeah, no. The I'm good at the casual pose, but I'm not so good at like action or. Like right. I used to draw everything was badass, 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 badass. So like it had to be badass. Right. <laughs> and then I went casual, totally casual, and, and like the sensual, soft, curvy poses. And now I can't go back. Can't go back to that. Maybe I should go back to badass. Maybe I should just do that now. Just, just think badass. badass instead of cute and and like. Yeah, it's like a mood that you have to get yourself in. Like, mm -hmm. you have to get yourself into like a really cute girly pose, like girly kind of mood to like draw that way. And then to do like a badass pose, you got to be like, oh, it's gonna be action. It's gonna be cool. fucking flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, I I get you. I get you. Yeah, for yeah, me. That type of mood. I don't know. Oh man, it's so hard for me to think. Uh, to be in that mood where it's like sensual, you know, almost like graceful. The whole idea is just so foreign to me. Like, I don't know. And the thing is like, it's either like really sexy poses mm -hmm. or it's like really action poses. That's all I can think of when I'm drawing. What type of, what would be in between if you could fill in the, the spaces in between those two parallels, what would it be? What do you mean? Like, I'm asking you what other poses are in between those two that you would like to do? That I would like to do? Uh, uh, relax. <laughs> relax, that's it. So, I don't know. So sexy, badass, and relax. Sexy, relax, and badass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just relax. Like, you know, like someone sitting down, someone just like, I don't know, chilling, you know? Someone's like, Yo, I'm so cool that I'm just like, I don't know. Like, it, there's a po pose. What do you call it? It's like a natural, easygoing pose. But at the same time, you're like, wow, he's so naturally cool. Oh, you mean yeah. like, like a uh, blase? Yeah, blase. Yeah. Nonchalant. Sure. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, yeah, that. Maybe you could look up like nonchalant characters. You know? Oh, there's a lot. I I looked it up. I just can't do it. 
Oh no. Yeah, I mean, it's in my head. It just doesn't come out. Speaking of which, I need to. I like that you can just start and you're actually. You're totally using the image uh, reference, and you're trying to. Well, capture I kind of. I really like this pose, and I kind of want her to be like kind of jumpy. I see. You know, like I like I like this drawing. I mean, right, I'm spending. This, I'm I'm thinking more of the design. Well, I will. I haven't really thought of the pose. Good pose. This is a very hard task, you know, to do in an hour, just to, like get the design, get the pose, like. So I, you know, maybe I'm doing it wrong because I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, concepting and designing and creating characters, it it's a lot of work. Yeah. Even though I mean we're we're doing a lot of sketchy stuff, but. We would spend like days and hours before we have something more finalized. It's why a lot of people do fan art because we don't have to think about like the design aspect. Yeah, it's really fun to do fan art. It's just mm -hmm. you don't have to do much. All you have to, the design is already there, so all you have to do is uh, do the uh, the drawing. And you already have the mood, the reason why you like the character. Like I always like have a really strong feelings about a character you know, and, right. mm -hmm. and then I just want to express that with the drawing right that's true there's there's a backstory and everything already built in usually like I'm not that I don't get that like kind of connected to the backstory mm -hmm. it's the um, sometimes it's like something about the design that I really like that I want to draw I see but the thing is a lot of that design and a lot of the design is based off of a backstory, right? Not really. If it's just, well, for, for instance, what I'm talking about is like if the character has really long stripes on really long legs, that has nothing to do with their backstory. <laughs> it Yo, just man, maybe. <laughs> well, okay. Sometimes it does, you know? Like, remember we were talking about like uh, drawing badges and patches on things on one of my characters that I was yeah. doing, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And like, Let's say if someone has more like skulls and bones everywhere, you'll think mm -hmm. that they're a pirate. So that's a backstory, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's like a really obvious one. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes, so I mean, I understand your point of view. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't need it. I mean, sometimes like the design has nothing to do with uh, their story. But I'm, I guess what I was trying to say is that the, the the thing I like about the design is the thing that drives the drawing at times and that doesn't have anything to do with the backstory. Mm -hmm. I guess. But sometimes it's, it's harder for me to... Because um, it's harder for me to, like, draw something related to the backstory. Uh, that's, I think, more challenging. Oh, this girl is no longer in the right, in the same pose. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I, it's it's just pretty cool. It's like jumpy, right? It's Remember? Just, I guess it's jumpy. I need to let go. We're I making characters. Like... We're like almost doing furries, almost. But we're not. I used to. I used to draw. Okay, we can use the word anthro. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Are you saying? Are you offended by no, the word furry? No, I'm not, I'm not. Is it? Is it the new F word? Is that? <laughs> it's the new. Because we can't say that other word so now. Many, our our college friend had traumatized me because I was really into like drawing anthro characters, and then he was just like, "Oh, so you're a furry?" And I was just like, and he said it really aggressively, right. and I was just like, "What is that?" Like really innocently, I didn't know what he was talking about, and he made me look it up. Right. And he made me look oh, at like no. he made me look at somebody's depiction of Simba, really like like looking like Terry Bogard kind of and I was like why would these two things combine like I don't understand like I don't uh, that's not something I understand why you would combine Simba with Terry Bogart you know like <laughs> and I was really shocked and I was just you know like I was totally trying to do something else like you know coming from a different perspective but <laughs> wow <that's laughs> anyway so he traumatized me with the word for me <laughs> and then of course there's a lot of really traumatizing things but, oh man, that's so. Jeez, <laughs> I can't believe you got introduced by it through the internet. Yeah, and then like, you know, well, there's a lot of other stuff that you see there. Yeah, like I'm I, sure I got. Everybody knows about. It. I don't know why we're we're prancing around the subject. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So those anthro, I mean, there's a difference though. What you, what you've done and like say in anime, it's different than the ones when we're talking about. 
furries, right? They're, we're talking about like a, a very like niche subject. Because like if you say draw a character with bunny ears, that's not a furry, you know? Like mm-hmm. it's it's different if you draw her like say she has bunny ears and she has she's fur. She's made of fur and stuff. Right? And it's and she's sexualized. And it's it's she's more animal than she is like human. Right? So that's that's a furry to me. Uh Wait, what? So you're saying... Okay, okay, let's say... Okay, I'm gonna draw it, right? Let's say, like, they have a snout in the face instead of, like, a human face, right? Like this, and then, like, what you're doing, you have bunny ears or something like that. Right, and then they have, like, a, a, a human nose, human eyes, in the human mouth, uh, mouth, right? That's that's to me. It's not a furry, right? But the thing is, if you draw a snout, like say, they have a snout. I don't know how to draw animals. I'm learning. Uh, I don't know. Right? Are you looking at what I'm doing? I am staring at your drawing. I'm drawing a dog, and then this dog head instead of it doesn't have a like a human nose, right? It, uh, it probably have like human eyes, but then it has like a human body, and that human body has fur, right? To me, that's a furry. Right. Oh, okay. So which one are you doing? I guess we should have made that distinction. No, no, we shouldn't have made that distinction. Like you should do whatever you want, right? Because I guess I'm just drawing what, like you said, a character based off of an animal. Mm-hmm. But um, if we were gonna do like more anthro, like I wouldn't call that furry because I really feel like furries, furry is specific, like a specific style that um. A lot of times, it's very influenced by like Disney style a little bit. Mm. But now it's kind of so. No, so mm. I disagree. Anthro, like I wouldn't call Mouse Guard furry. I would call it no. like anthropomorphic. Yeah, that, that's an anthropomorphic. You're right. Um, mouse Guard. It's because they're they're actually like mouse proportions, you know, and they're they're just mouse that stand up right. Yeah, but I also like, wouldn't call. Um, there's that other comic, I think it's called like, is it called Sinbad or something? Um, it's like a cat detective guy. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, it's not Sinbad. It's like something else bad. Crap! Someone's sticking my tongue. Okay, what uh, <clears throat> is it an anime? Is it what is it? It's just style. Anyway, um, it's a comic, and I can't remember the name, which sucks. I know. I remember like, oh man, this is gonna take me back. But in like the the early two thousands, mm-hmm. right? The there was Dark. there was so much uh, furry Wait, like you comics. They just made a game of the like black cat. They made a game of him. He's like he's like wearing like a Dick Tracy jacket. Yes. Yeah, they made a game of it. Wow, that's awesome. What is it called? What did he call? Something, Something black. Black sad. Black sad. Black sad. Yeah, and apparently there's a game of it. I would not call black sad like. Well, I don't know. I a guess furry. I call that furry. No, I would call it like anthropomorphic again. So you're drawing the distinction at whether or not it gets you gets you rock hard. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think furry that's what I think. Is a little like because this is definitely just a, like more, more stylistic, you know, like right. a stylistic choice to see walking cat guy. <laughs> I I haven't read this, but it's also maybe cool. it's uh, the distinction. Oh shoot! Distinction oh, should be like there you go. Look at him. Look at him. Look right. how awesome he looks like my cat. Yeah, I'm I totally, I totally know what we're talking about. Maybe the distinction is like, it's about like sex. You know, if you're making these characters like more sexualized, 
then it's a furry. That's the disturbing part when I was right. first shown furry was uh, I was impressed by the drawing, but really kind of disturbed by subject matter. Disturbed by the attention to detail of the midriff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. The line to the crotch. Yes. You know, like it's, like, it's okay a, to go. Nude I can tell in your furry. what they want me to feel, and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, someone who loves animals, and they want to make it legit. You know. They want to, they, they love what animals you, and they want to make. Mean, I love animals. <laughs> okay, it's like they I love, love animals, animals to but the not mo- like that. I respect the boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they want to go past that boundary with animals, right? <laughs> That's what it is. That's what furries are to me. I'm sure there's a lot of furries who will like object and they'll say whatever, but that's what I think of when I think of furries. Well, you know, now I've seen like documentaries on furries now. Oh yeah. I have not, so I, I like sort I just of try like to while stay I'm washing away. dishes. I watch whatever. <laughs> I'll watch everything. And what what but, does the documentary say? No, it was just like this guy explaining like how it was like his way of expressing or their way of expressing being in a suit is like cool. But now we're getting into the suit part. You see, like anthropomorphic. Like when you say you draw anthropomorphic, people aren't going to assume that you wear a suit too. You know, a mascot you suit. suit. But like if you a mascot suit. Oh. You know the things that yeah, furries yeah, yeah, yeah. wear? Those are, like, furries wear mascot suits, and they also, like, get a lot of commissioned work of their um, of their character, you know? And they have a, a lot of artwork based. They design their own stuff. So so when you say furry, that comes with, it comes with all of that. Whereas if you say anthropomorphic, like, uh, it's, you know, you're just drawing, you're basically like designing a humanoid animal. Or anything human, and turning mm-hmm. anything into a human because I think the words you know anthropomorphic is just that's just the definition behind it. Yeah, I mean, like anthropomorphic. Like I understand that. I we're, think you we're, just we're, don't like to say that. I just it's don't like just saying it. For you to say. Yes, it is. It's, it's just easy to say furry. Okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but the thing is, like, furry has uh, such a more deeper meaning, at least to me. So that's why, like, really, I, what? I, yeah, no, I think no, like, I mean not. Not deeper meaning. I mean, like, specific meaning, you know? Furries are more, like, sexualized and everything like that, you know? It's a little more pervy when well, I want to hear the like, word. That's the person's persona, man. Their persona. The persona? <laughs> that's the persona. Oh, my God. That's a real thing. <laughs> oh, God, is it really? Jeez, you don't know much about this, dude. I know a lot no. of this. <laughs> you, you went deep in this I'm research. I saw like images and I was like, no, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. I ruined myself with all my knowledge. I wish I could unlearn something. Well, at least you know what not to teach. My children. <laughs> yeah, children. No, they're going to have to learn all this shit too. I guess so they know how to avoid it. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> I am not liking anything I'm drawing right now. It's either I'm like having an art block or something, or maybe like just animals in general are just, uh, I can't do it. Can't okay, do first it's question hard. you should ask yourself is okay. that what do you like about this animal? The horns. So you should base your design off of these horns. You know what? Wait, what do you like about the horns? No, I, I like how they're big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'll just say these horns. They um the one thing that is really hard to draw with them is that all the negative space that the horns produce because mm-hmm. they're so like long and thin they're gonna give you your whatever you're drawing is gonna have a lot of negative space so okay. like when I I guess the way I draw I just try to draw things so they fill up the space a lot better so gotcha. that's the first thing that I would think of you know thinking about the horns how they were gonna give me trouble so you should do a design that starts. <laughs> That emphasizes your like the things that you like about the horns. My bad. Okay. That's that's the way I would tackle it. Like, I uh, I don't know where I'm if I'm following that same advice, but I kind of want to draw the feet. Right. And I really want to get to the tail, and I have I'm like saving the best for last. <laughs> wow. Tail. I think uh, yeah, like I don't know. I think it's also the whole idea of animals bother me. So even animal <laughs> parts. Right? I'm having <laughs> issues. 
But no, I, I got you though. This that, I'm glad that you brought that up. I'm glad you asked that question. Now I know what to focus on. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I like, I like a, like um, the Breath of Fire characters. Those designs, I love them. Oh yeah. And they're very, um, I guess what you would maybe you would consider those furry or anthropomorphic. I love anthropomorphic characters. You just keep saying both. Like you, there's no <laughs> one and just say it because you guys have no clear definition. No <laughs> yeah, it, it's a weird like thing to, to be defined. This, I like no, I like to. Those are cool horns. You're getting in there. Um, because you made a cool silhouette with that. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I I really like anthro characters. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with anthro. I like it. I like that word. Short, simple, anthro. <laughs> yeah, let's stick with that. <laughs> it's just you brought up the other word, and I feel like that and word the, comes with a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you I know, the F word. That F if, word if brings you, a lot. There's, a... <laughs> there's a lot of stuff behind that. <laughs> If uh, like how much you wanted to go into that territory? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. I kind of just wanted to like sort of define it, throw it out there. If people who are curious, you know, you can search it yourself and like be <laughs> no. either enthralled. <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> Whatever you do. Whatever you do is up to you. But I like, I, I feel like it's, uh, I don't know. Do you do, do the uh, people who are into that stuff, are they offended if we use uh, call them furries or something like that? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. They embrace it. I don't know. You're the one who saw I don't know about this shit. I don't know enough. <laughs> you don't want to watch like, a documentary about it. I did. And I think it was an okay word to use from what I <laughs> It's a scary world. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, it's it's interesting though. I mean, I personally found it out because of like like I said early 2000s, there was a lot of like furry like I mean anthro comics out there. And I always thought it it came <laughs> from like from like uh anime, but it's not. It's, I think it, what you're saying is right. It came a lot from, like, Disney. It depends on what the style is. There's a specific style that comes from Disney. Then mm -hmm. there's, like, a lot of French artists. Oh. They, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know why, but, like, anytime French, French people do it, good. I feel like when French people do stuff, it's always good. Yeah. They, like, they got right. They're just exploring design. Like, there's nothing... You, I think you can tell when something is... And good oh. and exploring design versus trying to oops, you know, mm -hmm. versus trying to like turn you on like <laughs> okay no even awkwardly. like i don't know like french stuff like uh they're just their um content or the way they draw things i feel like it's like artistic versus like uh what's the word here perverted like even if they draw like stuff that's very sexualized i feel like there's art behind it like, or at least they're thinking behind it, not just because they want to draw something sexy. It's not forced. It's Yes, that's right. That's the word. It's not forced. It's, like, very sensual, but it's not, like, trying too hard. Yeah, that's what it's it is. It's beautiful. Yeah. I think they treat it, like, more delicately. Yeah. Or they, they respect it or something more. That's... At least that's how I feel. <clears throat> you know what? I also like um, sort of, uh, what is it? Kind of like a, a, that Afro puff of sheep. So I'm, I'm going to try to do that too in my design. Oh, why don't you bring up a different animal with that same? <sighs> because then I have to go search for it, can we now? Psh. Difficult. You used to have to go to libraries. Hey, man. Those things don't exist anymore. Now you're too lazy to go to Google. <laughs> uh, sheep. Look at there. Aw, you cute. 
Okay. Okay. Go, go llama. Go, no, do a llama. Mix it with a llama. Oh, llama. llama I was about to pick a llama. Yeah, I was. I was thinking that you would do that too. Really? Yeah. Damn, I should have picked llama. They got uh, sometimes llamas they got are really surfer dudes, curly... right? <laughs> Hold on, let me That's say. not a good picture. Keep going. Hold on, say llama like. Hold or on a second. Uh, alpaca. Alpaca. How do you spell that? A L P. Alpaca. There you go. See, they got the tuft of hair that you want. Oh, let me uh pick something, then I'll show everyone. Wow, these these guys are really. Okay, look. All right, that's that. Yeah, I'm gonna use that as a reference for this guy. I don't know if that's real or not. That might be Photoshop. This one. Oh, this one's cute. Well, that's the thing about me too. I guess I'm not into cute things. But you said it was cute. Yeah, but I'm not into drawing cute things. So I'll try it. But I'll use that as a reference. Very well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know, you're just referencing the hair and how to draw hair. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. What are you gonna do for the rest of the body? I don't know. Are this you, is a you're problem. You're just doing the head. You're just doing the head. Because okay, you because uh, you convinced me about what do I like about it. And it's I like I like what you thing. have so far, but I feel like maybe you should. Is this gonna be a portrait or is it gonna be like a bust? Uh, I think so. I think it's gonna be more like a bust or well, it's not at least be upper midsection. Mostly, yeah, from midsection up, I think. Because I, so I want far, to. I, I love what you have for the hair. Those lines are so good. Yeah, I wish I can preserve that. Just stop the right there. Stop. Just stop! Stop it! Stop touching those lines and color that. All right, but, uh, but I think I'm gonna work on upper body now. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to have like some arms and stuff. <clears throat> and, maybe, uh, maybe I can see that fur. guy kind of like leaning over, like like with his elbows on the table, and kind of. Um, his hands on his chin, like resting on his chin. There you go. That's nice. Something like that. Thank you, Carolina. It's when you say stuff and then I try it and it works. Like in my head, I say the same things as you, but I don't do it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That? I don't know. I think it's like, I think I might need like people to tell me what to do. I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't like, uh, I have a whole bunch of ideas, but I can't pick an idea, right? Uh, okay. I think that's what it is. I'm indecisive. I should like just, we should do an episode where I just, um, I'm just going to tell you what to draw exactly what to do. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be awesome, actually. I would like, be like, you're going to be my hand today. I'm that's a good idea. I, yeah, I just... <laughs> You just say, hey, you do this, do that, command each other. <laughs> I'm just going to command you. Yeah, and then you can command me one day. That would be really cool. <laughs> oh, man. That, no, that would be really fun. I think that would be a good idea. It would be like Bran from Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, I haven't Wait, watched you know, any of the new season. So I, I know, know, I know, but you read the book, so you know who's Bran. Yeah, 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 I do. I do. Oh, you're talking. Okay. I do know right. what you're talking about, and now I know what you're referencing. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this face is giving me... I don't really want to work on the face for this one. I think maybe my pen is just too thick. I'm going to back up. I'm backing out. I'm backing out of the face. I'm looking at the whole picture again. I don't like this head. I'm going to touch it. The arm is too long. Oh, it would be great. I think I'm going to... It's gonna be at a at a bar. Think about his issues. <laughs> so it's like, why am I a furry? I mean, anthro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's gonna hold a cup. A whiskey. Wait, hold it. What what do uh, sheep, goats, rams, ibexes drink? Water. 
water? Yeah, what do you think they drink orange juice? Oh man. Okay, Green well what do you think they they would drink if they were <coughs> actual like anthros? Sex on the beach. I think that's the only name you know that's alcoholic. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous name. <laughs> it is. Like, I can't even imagine what kind of drink it is. That's... I don't know. <laughs> it is. You're right. It's like, ah, what is that anyway? I feel like, um, yeah, I'm not, a, <clears throat> I'm not a drinker, so I don't know. I'm not really a drinker either. But uh, I, had a, I went to BBQ's and I had a Hennessy BBQ burger and it was good. So okay. make them drink some Hennessy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yeah, drinks Hennessy. Yeah, I can see. I can see like uh, this guy drinking Hennessy. <laughs> How? What? <laughs> I'll go. Maybe a Hennessy bottle. I bet there's people that actually drink have a good, like, pun for you. What? It's probably a good pun drink. Pun drink. Like a pun, a goat pun, or an ibex pun. All right. Oh, Something I see what you're talking about. A goat on it. Well, I mean, so much. Who's that guy? Yeah. Who's that Greek guy? Uh, he drinks a lot. Eh? Nero? No, no. It's not Dionysus. It's uh, one of the minor gods. Pan, I think. Oh, a, a, no, a god. Pan. Pan just has a lot of sex. I don't know if he's like a drinker. Ah, uh, whatever. It's a minor deity in like uh, in uh, Greek mythology, and like he's like the he just drinks a lot. It's not Dionysus. Yeah, he, he's a god of wine. But he's like I'm thinking about minor characters. He's like a sheep, goat type of character, and he drinks a lot. Oh, yeah. I think that's real. It's, it might be Pan. Oh, whatever. Oh, you're getting that tail out, Kalia? Hmm? You're getting that tail out? I'm working on the, like, head right now. I'm not really liking it. Yeah, I'm not good at this. This relax type of drawing. It's kind of... I think maybe... Um... Like his back shoulder. Right. This Listen. perspective's not working either. Wait, yeah. Wait, actually, just keep the bar. Keep the bar. Okay. You just need to raise the back shoulder. Just grab. Don't erase it. Just grab it with the selection tool and, like, no, that's, that's the front shoulder. Oh, wait. I was talking about the, the back. Oh, the shoulder. one that's the, uh, in the, the behind. One. His right shoulder. Yeah. You right. just need to, you need to have brought it up. Like grab the whole thing, and bring it to above his uh, Adam's apple. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Yep. You just need to give him more space. Ah, uh, yeah. You're right. That feels way better. Then you might want to follow his spine, like from his neck to his back. That's already a nice relax. Yeah. You, he probably doesn't need to have his like crotch under the table. You could probably loosen that um, that curve on his back and just have his back go straight down or st like to the K and can. There you go. That's more natural. Though. Yeah, why did I have that arch back? Oh, because I think I'm thinking... thinking very dramatically. Right. Yeah. See, like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm not really good at this whole easy going pose. I'm always thinking about action, dynamic, something, you know? Yeah, you just need to. I mean, I think it's that's a good thing. I, I was like the same way. I did things very, very dramatically and I had to like tone it back. And the more you tone it back, uh, the more you uh, learn stuff. Like we think it's like a lot more dramatic than it actually is. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That's a really good way to uh, think about it. It's like uh, in coding, sometimes it's better to go use high, really high values, right? And then start dwindling it to lower values till you get it right. Mm. Or like in game design. I think uh, a lot of game designers, they go really high, really, uh, when they first start, like, uh, you know, testing out, uh, like, parameters. And then they start shrinking it down. I don't know. I, I'm not usually the one putting in those parameters. I have to ask Ron. That's how he does it. I think it's different. Everyone does it differently. But from what I've seen in all the game designers I, I work with, they tend to go really big at first, and then they start shrinking when, it down. Well, let me ask Ron what he does. When you're, uh, like, adding parameters to... This is going to be a weird question. Do you kind of guess guesstimate the actual parameter that you want or do you blow out the parameter like to an extreme to see if it's working first and then you kind of whittle it down to where it's supposed to be yeah he doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about <laughs> yeah, I think so. yeah. Um, yeah it's i know it's i i didn't i did not explain it well either so It's also like kind of inside baseball, so yeah. Like I, I think like anyone who who listened to us would not have no idea what we're talking about. Yep. <laughs> and like and also like you probably didn't understand anything I said either. No, I kind of understood what you're saying. Uh, like it's a kind of style of thinking when you're when you're doing something. Right. Um, when and I guess it could be applied to different things. Yeah. But. I I'm not sure if everybody does it that way. And it mm -hmm. might be, maybe, and at least in this situation, in drawing, right. in application toward drawing, I know that that's the beginner's approach. Like, like maybe not super, super beginner, but like, you know, you the more that you're subtle, you understand the subtlety of things, right. the better that you become. But it takes a long time to get there. Yeah, because you're you're playing guessing games uh, before you get to that point. Yeah. So my guy, my character is turned out to be an alcoholic. <laughs> I like your drawing. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's like it's one of those things where. What's the word here? The first time you do it, you don't like it, but the more you work on it you begin to like it more because you're fixing all the little problems that you had. That's and the best. That's like the most awesome thing about drawing. I love that feeling. Right. I'm not there yet in my drawing yet. Yeah. I think it's like, it, you have to have, you have to be patient. You know, I think a lot of people when they draw, right. Or at least like people who start, they always like get frustrated and then they quit sometimes. But sometimes I feel like sometimes you have to know when to quit, you know? Like, say, if a head is working, you just got to start over with the head, you know? Hmm. Instead of keep working it on it all the time. Like, what, like for you, Carolina, what you did, like you totally changed, you made the head into a profile instead, of, instead of, like, a three-quarter view. It flows much better. Yeah, see? So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that's a... I think that's what like separates like professional professionals and beginners. I think beginners are the too afraid to to make like changes. I wouldn't call myself like super professional, but the... <laughs> I didn't. I meant... Whoa, whoa, Carolina! <laughs> Yo, Carolina! Crazy. I didn't say you super pro <laughs> professional. I just said you professional. <laughs> All right. I would think that if I was professional, I would have like had this thing planned out and I would have been able to go with my original idea of like that kind of like looking up like t head tilted down looking up and I would have been able to do that but All I right. feel like I've lost it and now I have to go with the flow in this other direction <laughs> and really like I'm just hanging it I'm, I'm like holding things together <laughs> it doesn't feel like professionalism at all <laughs> yeah Where, well the thing is like what you're describing is a super professional which i did not call you <laughs> all right so so get that right, straight now that we have that clear. yeah 
I feel like I have a lot more. Uh, oh, I have a lot more to go before I'd be consider myself professional. So, uh, I, maybe we just need to draw a lot more. Yeah, to be more comfortable. Like the more professional approach. Obviously, this is like a fun podcast. So be right. to do what we're doing three or four times, picking the best one, and then taking that one to the finish line. That would be the prof- that's super true. professional. Yeah. The and super- then drawing, or some people who are super, super professional will take like your idea of your goat guy and then they'll do it three or four times different angles of him. Oh, yeah. And then pick. So I've seen like one guy is uh, in the golden age of illustration, which is like the most amazing time where people drew really well and they, I don't know, man, they were just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> they worked very hard at their draftsmanship and and um they had these great line works and whatever whatever this guy he was drawing like a guy playing a piano and drawing you know and there was a lady singing on the piano and that's what he had to draw and he drew it like four or five times at different angles to see which one was the best one and then he picked that one so he yeah picked the that's one, insane the best one. so and he was quick at it so that's that would i would call be that would be the super professional yeah, because they didn't have like they have to actually go libraries to actually get like a lot of references, you know. Here they we got use... people to come in to their yeah. place. They but got that's people not, to come that's in not and as convenient as Google. A dream. No, I like that shit because <laughs> I used to like look at these art books and be like, "Oh, this guy's so fucking amazing." He got people to right. come in to his apartment and like he's doing a little photo shoot for the references and and like it's just amazing. Now you have Google, like you could just right. Photoshop them together or like. Oh, something's not working right. Okay, move it over. Yeah, that's why they did so but many the like is, drafts. You know, you're, you know, you're not going to be as great as an artist as that person is. Right. I mean, that's why they had to to do so many different versions and everything, because like you know they didn't have that luxury of like of like making as many mistakes as we do and playing around. Or basically, what I'm saying, they don't play. You know, <laughs> they don't play. They don't play. No, maybe it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. Yeah, I think it's more like they have to be a lot more, uh, what's the word, dedicated? No, not dedicated. They have to be more, uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Do I? <laughs> do I? Do you? I think you do. Um, I don't know. It's not, <laughs> it's not passionate either. It's uh, ah, They just really had no choice, you know? They just had to be like... To do different versions and they have to be like good and not as make as many mistakes or they couldn't afford to you know mm-hmm. like i feel like in our day and age uh we can make more mistakes and we can still like end up having a similar like uh product almost it depends on who you work for mm-hmm. yeah that's true you know you could try to create the Mona Lisa for someone who just doesn't freaking care about it. And then they're like, you know what? I think I think it needs to pop more here. And then, That's you know, so you, so you have to draw for yourself and then also make money, you know, try to, to, to draw for other people to make money. That's true. If, if you're, if that's, you know, what you're doing, that's, if you're drawing at a job, then that's better. I think because a lot of times your your style or well not a lot of times but i guess if you're drawing at a job and you're lucky your style might be in line with what the other people on your team you know think and so you'll feel fulfilled as an artist and also being able to pay for yourself and that's amazing pay for your livelihood i should Did I just take that shit like way far out? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know if what I said made sense. Oh, you want me to respond? Uh, respond to you? Oh no, no, it's cool. You know, we just move on. <laughs> no, I just didn't know what to say because I could say, yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. Okay. One thing that uh, I always have trouble with is uh, like suits. Yeah, suits are hard. That's definitely a yeah. reference. A lot of people don't realize that, like, to, I don't know, like, they're, they're a lot more complex than they seem. I think a lot of people have trouble with suits. Mm-hmm. 
But there's a lot of people who don't, you know? And I always envy those people. People who don't have trouble with it? Yeah. Like, I don't know why it's so difficult to me. Because it looks so simple and straightforward. I think uh, what I learned about suits is that you have to follow the wrinkles. Follow the patterns of the wrinkles. It's very different than any other piece of clothing. So when you, you have to reference like people wearing suits, and then you have to do the wrinkles the same exact way. Otherwise, it won't look like a suit. It'll look like cotton. Oh, that's yeah, that's a good point. I'm I'm mostly thinking about the actual uh, uh, pieces, like the lapels and things. I can never oh, get right. it right. Yeah, I well, always... you have to reference that. Just pick like five or whatever and reference it. Oh, I'll ask Google. So lazy. <laughs> God, I would never survive in the fifties. <laughs> yeah, you have the freaking Google. I thought you were talking about like how to draw wrinkles on the suit. Oh no, wrinkles on the suit is actually I have no issues with that. I'm talking about actual like suit design, like you know the lapels and things like that, the lines and everything. No, I don't want this. I want something more, like a more casual suit. One day I'm just going to switch stream this what? cast at the same time. At the same time as what? As you're recording it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking about. No, don't do that, Carolina. Oh, yeah. I'm... Don't stream it live. <laughs> uh, I guess it's totally different. It's not that different. Actually, you don't do any editing that much. Or maybe you do it. What do you mean it's not different? I feel I like think, streaming okay. is different, man. Like streaming live is totally different from just recording it like this. Don't you think so? Mm. From my perspective, no. Because, I mean, I guess there would be the potent people that were there, like other viewers. But um, if it was just me and you talking, then... It was stated that I wasn't going to talk very much to the viewers, and um, it would be it would be the same. Okay. Would it? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I mean, because you have people who are interacting with you, who are text, who are typing things and leaving comments, right? Yeah, it's. I'm not super popular, so I don't think that there would be that much. It would just be like another place to show it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thinking about that, I feel like the, to get popular, you just have to do it often, right? And then schedule, yep. Yeah, and have, yeah, correct if there's a schedule because it, it becomes more like a TV program almost. Yeah. Because like people are going to tune in if they know that, oh, it's Wednesday night. I, want, I wonder what Carolina is doing. Yeah. You know, something like that. Oh, I was putting her hand in a glove, but now I really want her to have a big paw paw hand. Go ahead, make the paw paw, the paw paw hands. Hmm, goats have hooves. Wait, let me look at my reference. Oh, they got hooves. Hooves can't can't hold drinks. It's up to you, man. <laughs> yeah, I just want. I just like the horns. Forget it. I'm not, I, everything else I hate. You should give him that goatee too. But now nah, you no. have the hand. In the way. You got the hand in the way. You can't. Ah. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> I'll just do a small goatee, make him like a douchebag. You give him an extra horn. What? On the front of his head. It, it looks like that, but it's curving. Oh. Oh. oh okay. No. And, no. No. Stop. Uh, no. Stop. I don't. I don't do that. Ah! I'm done. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All you have to do is darken the outline on the hair to differentiate it from the thing that's in the distance. There you go. Fuck. This is just a, this is a drawing. This is a little sketch thing. All right. I, know, <laughs> I, I see it. Right. And now you can actually do the same thing. Darken the outlines on the, the objects, like the horn. Uh-huh. So that they feel like 
little islands of information. Yeah, that's something that I don't think about when I'm I'm doing when I'm inking or or at least when I'm trying to draw in general. You used to ink, right? Yeah, I used to ink a lot. And I when I'm inking, I'm always constantly thinking. So you're ink, yeah, you're inking and thinking. Yeah, when it but like I said, like uh like I said before, I feel like in today's age where where things are like with Photoshop and computer stuff, right? I feel like I don't think as much, and I yeah, feel like a lot of people are the same like that. thing. You could think about it too. You should be thinking about mm -hmm. the lines oh, yeah, and the, totally. the weight, the thickness of the line, and stuff. Right. I'm not. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying like people. There's a lot of people like me who who just like draw, and when they make a mistake, it's such such an easy fix that they don't think as much anymore. Yeah, but that's like some people. I think some, there's a lot of great artists who definitely think like uh, more in depth when they're drawing than I I would be. I guess I kind of try to apply because, I mean, the goal of inking something nicely is the goal of making like a nice graphic. So mm -hmm. it wasn't really about inking it or not. So I'm in Photoshop. I'm also trying to make a nice graphic too. Right. Maybe yeah. just make a file like that. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think for me, it's like when I'm doing it in Photoshop, I I kind of just want to depend on luck. Wow. More than than I uh. Well, and, that's and why. Speak. That's why I hated drawing in Photoshop versus pencil. Right. Yeah. For, for me, a while, it's, for like a long time, but now mm -hmm. I'm having fun with it again. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad because I'm also starting to feel that way too. Where it's like. I'm thinking more now when I do when I'm in Photoshop whereas like when I'm sketching on paper I'm definitely thinking a lot more you know and so I, I don't know why my well I do know why my brain switches like uh, the thinking mode off because it's so easy to erase things and like start over and to fix things on the computer so my mind doesn't want to think as hard mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this guy a, I don't know, Colonel Sanders like. What I like the little goatee that you gave him. It's awesome. <laughs> what? It's just a tiny little thing. I know, but it's a goatee, and he's an Ibex. <laughs> he's not a goat. He's an <laughs> Ibex, but it's a goatee. Uh, well, the thing is, like, I don't know. I always think goatees are douchebaggery things. What? It's douchey, I like man. What? It's amazing that people can grow like a little patch of hair underneath their lip. No, Carolina, it's very like douchey to me. No, it's not. I love goatees. <laughs> what? I wow, have no might... negative association with it. Really? I, I just think it's a piece of hair. It's like a patch of hair, you know. <clears throat> Is it because you are... like you you didn't grow up with people like with goatees or something? Uh. I don't know, like. I saw goatees a lot when I was a kid, and people would make fun of that stuff. I guess in a way, it's like maybe, like, there's some, like, girls that maybe I hung out with that I associate, like, like friendliness, like a friendly girl with, like, a catty girl, because I've had a bad experiences with that or something. And then later on, I've had, there was friendly girls that were actually being friendly and not trying to make fun of me. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> I, like were the goatees out there to get you no they just to me <laughs> they were like uh i don't know to me it was like douchey it, they were just not good people you know the, the, the way that they acted and everything it's just hair <laughs> i know but it, it's like i don't know a lot you know, of the my, people my brother has saw. a goatee mm -hmm. i love my brother oh, he's not an asshole it's like people it's like almost but, a, but the depiction of the devil the classic depiction of the devil he's got a goatee right i don't know actually does he is that a goatee the devil so. hold on a second let me try to draw this actually i know the mustache right the devil always had a mustache did he and the goatee is like this yeah there you go is that a, or, is that a goatee ah that's what i was asking you Okay. Drawing lines where we don't know much of anything. 
<laughs> Welcome to Drawing Lines, where we don't know nothing. Or wait, that's a double negative. <laughs> yeah, we know everything. We know nothing. <laughs> we give nothing. Okay. Uh, one hour. So, no. what you got, Kalia? Let's talk about it. I was really getting into this now. Yeah, I really love that you made your head a profile now. It really does feel much better. The flow, you're right. Because if, yeah. because like you have the arm going in one direction, and then her head going the other direction, it really gives a nice uh, line uh, for your eyes. For my eye, when I look at your art, that's a good uh, like it's line like flow. This. Yeah, exactly. Versus it's like where that. this arch here, mm -hmm. and then this arch here. Yeah, um, I didn't even think about that when I was doing my one. thing. Mm -hmm. And then this way, and then this also goes down here. But yeah, the other t I was trying to do like a head that was, I really wanted to do, uh, I guess, I mean, I'm not saying much of anything, her eyes. I really was inspired by the eyes of a snow leopard. So I wanted her to have her head tilted down so that I uh -huh. could kind of get eyes like this. Right. But then I realized that that emotionally kind of says that she's meek too. And uh -huh. I didn't like the breaking, like it wasn't fitting with this. And I didn't, I didn't like the meekness. Maybe I could have made it work if I kind of placed her head here, uh, mm. you know, so then it, and then I could have had yeah. the hair go that way. Yeah, that's, I guess you could have, but it feels so weird. This could have been cool. It feels like you, it's forced if you do it that way. Well, no, I can see what we're talking about now. Okay. It's possible. It's it possible, possible, but, but I decided to go in a different direction. So I think I would have had to, so, so you would have had to play with this curve here instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would have been this way, and that would have that would have been actually kind of cool, if I. You would have to, her. yeah. You have to bend her more though. Maybe a little more bendy in her in her back, I think. <clears throat> but it was hard. That was definitely a hard angle for a face to draw. I don't mm -hmm. get to practice that one a lot. It is because I like it's. That one, but... You're right because it's not just at a. You're not just looking. She's not just looking down, but she's looking down at an angle. So it's like a three quarters looking down. That's really tough. Oh, I see. You know? that it, well, I, it wasn't looking down because she's looking up. Well, I mean, still, I mean, okay, not looking down, but facing you know her down facing down. At a quarter angle and looking up. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. And I wanted it to be kind of spooky. But the little it was eyes. Hard. It was hard. So I went with this. Yeah. Well, and it was good. Now that doesn't look as cool as I tried. <laughs> right. I mean, but over, it was hard. I only mean, had an hour. Over, so. I know, but overall, though, I like the the the, the pose and everything. You know, the it's posture, cute. and it's definitely mm -hmm. like based off of what you had. So yeah. So the idea was to have it like be as a snow leopard. So yeah. I kind of wish that I would have been able to draw these cute pads on the paws, mm -hmm. but I wanted the big feet and the big tail, and. Um, man, I really like her. She's cute. Yeah, and I just wanted the horns. Nothing else. And I gave it a goatee. I mean, you got the, the horns going into the goofy, like, alpaca hair. Oh, yeah. yeah. The alpaca hair. I actually like the hair the most out of everything I did there. I Oops. told you to, I told you to stop, like, with those lines. Like, stop going over, because you were just doodling for, like, a long time. And, right. like, you stopped on the most nicest doodle. I don't know. It's like... Because I, I wasn't confident. I was over. not. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I was just not confident with that alpaca type hair. No, Ooh. but you did it though. I don't understand. I don't know. It doesn't I, make sense to me. I, but I like the shape. It doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> yeah, but I like the shape of it though. You know? I, I, well, okay, I see what you're saying. It's, it's harder like when you're going to have to color it and you have to make sense of like three dimensionalness of it. Mm -hmm. But I can see the three dimensional sense of this. Right. You're just going to have to learn how to translate that. Right. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's like, and I, I just like the horns. That's it. Just a guy with horns. Just at a bar. He also has a douchebag goatee, you know, <laughs> and then he's looking at his drink. You know, I feel like your IBEX is kind of at a bar too. 
because he's chilling there. <laughs> oh yeah. It looks like he would just needs a cocktail. Right. That's true. <laughs> oh. I mean, I want because that whole relaxing pose thing. That's what I, I was kind of get. I wanted to do. Ibex eyes. He kind of did. Kind of like droopy eyes. eyes. Yeah. No, no, I mean like the pupil, the horizontal pupil. Nope. Don't like those things. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what, what do you think animal. I am? I'm not Satan. I don't like Satan things. Embrace the animal. <laughs> I'm not satanic. Oh, Kumu. <laughs> Here's a question for you. What happened to that satanic ice cream guy? Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm that's not... something that we can talk about later, I guess. But that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our lies. We know uh, ice cream vendors who are Satanists. That's great. Was he a Satanist too? I don't know. That's what he said on his Facebook. Whatever. Oh shit, really? I don't know. <clears throat> it could have been some some fun thing that he's doing. It's a weird story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here that was my attempt at being casual, uh, drawing casual stuff, and I really like your pose, Carolina. You always uh, turn I out think you, nice. you should also be really proud of yours. This came out nice. Yeah, I guess so. I just need for to work on more. Yeah, I think for us, uh, you know, what we did is pretty good. Like again, I think like concepting or creating characters in general just spent takes a long, long time. It's a huge process, and we we did we totally like did it pretty quickly, and we didn't have like tons of like different like concepts, you know. And then we try mix and match or anything like that. So basically, we weren't being very professional. At all. <laughs> We were just having fun. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's it. End of episode. So, uh, anything else coming up for you? Anything you want to say? Nope. Nope. Okay. We're done. All right, guys. See you later. Goodbye. Out. Bye. Bye.